back second grade and I know we missed doing our flashcards yesterday, so I hope you're ready to review all those awesome decoding skills we got in our brain. Are you ready? Here we go. Earth. Ed. D. T. Ow. O. Were ah ew great job keeping up let's get started welcome to Tuesday second grade our second day of this lovely new month of February so we are kicking our brand new Tuesday off with reading of course so yesterday we reviewed all those crazy OTs that we were learning in January. But today, we are going to start something new. So, before we get started, of course, we have to warm up that reading brain. We are going to take one quick look at our OT before we start our new topic. So, get all your OT knowledge ready, and let's decode. Here we go. What do you see? That O U. So, see if you can decode the word on your own. The word is ow, grouch, grouch. If you're a grouch, you're all grumpy. Good job. Next one. What do you see? A Y. Oi. Joyful. To be joyful, full of joy. Awesome. And what do we got here? O W. Ow. Tower. A tower. A big, tall building. Awesome. Next up. What do you see? O-O. What sound is O-O going to make? Try out both of them. Ooh. Gloom. If something's gloom or gloomy, it kind of looks kind of sad, like gloomy weather. Good job. And last one. Let's see. Can you decode the first part? Draw, ing, draw, ing. Good job. Okay, we're going to be revisiting all our tricky OTs this week to make sure they're fresh in our brain. But to get our Tuesday started, let's see our brand new learning target. It says, I can identify when C and G say they're second grade, we've been learning a lot about vowels, our tricky vowels, and that they can say multiple different sounds. We know that consonants, remember there's vowels and consonants, consonants are a lot simpler. They usually only have one sound. They're easier to remember. But of course, not always. C and G are one of those more tricky consonants. C and G can actually say two sounds. I'm super excited to learn about this today because I've seen this come up in a lot of our readings. The soft sound for C and G. 
And today, we're going to learn about what is a soft sound. And what's our decoding detective clue that's going to tell us this is how we're going to read a word. So first, before we talk about the soft sound, what's the hard sound? we got to talk about opposites. We're going to learn about soft sounds, but we already know the hard sounds for C and G. When we talk about the hard sounds, this is the sound we learn when we're learning the alphabet. So for C, what sound does C make? Like in the word cat. The word cat. In this instance, and most cases, C says it's hard sound. Can you do that with me? That's the hard sound for C. The one it most commonly makes. For G, it has a hard sound as well. The sound we say when we do the alphabet. Like in the word gum. Gum. What sound is G making? G. G. Like in the word gum. So can you do the hard sound with me? G, g, g. So C, the hard sound is k. And for G, the hard sound is g. So these are the hard sounds for these two letters. The sound that we most often use when we're reading a word. But that's not always the case. Sometimes they say, This is when C and G don't sound as hard. So let's learn what are those soft sounds. So in second grade, C, I want you to listen to this word and tell me. What sound do you hear C making in the word? Face. Face. What sound is C making? Face. It's making a sound like the letter S. So the soft sound for C is the same sound as the letter S, like a snake. Good job. What about G? What about G? What's the soft sound it makes? What about this word? Can you listen for what sound the G is making? We've got the word page. Page. What sound is the G making? Page. J, J. It's making the J sound, which is just like the letter J. So when G goes soft, it makes the J, J sound just like J. So second grade, what is the soft sound for C? The soft sound? Good job, like in the word face. What about G? What's the soft sound for G? J. J, J, like in the letter J. So, we know now that C and G can both say the hard sound, but they also have soft sounds. But when do C and G say their soft sounds? What is our clue we have to look for? So, of course, when do C and G Go soft. When the letters are followed by I, E, or Y. So when C and G are followed, that means the letters right behind it. It's following it. Coming from behind. When the letters I, E, and Y are following the letters, then we know that C and G 
are going to say they're so fast. So our clue as decoding detectives is when we see a C or a G, but we notice right behind it, there's an I, E, or Y. That is our clue as awesome skilled readers to say the soft sound for these letters. So this is the next clue we are going to add to our decoding detective toolbox. And of course, in order to add it, we need to do mirror words. So, can you show me your mirror words hands? Are you ready? Here we go. Mirror words. C and G. Say their soft sound. Say their soft sound. When followed by, when followed by, I, E, or Y. When followed by I, E, or Y. Mirrors down. Good job. So with this tool today, second grade, we are going to read some words where C and G make that soft sound. So let's practice for ourselves right now. Okay, so we got a word up here. What do you see? We've got a C, but what's right behind it? What's right behind it? An I, an I, good job. So this I is going to make the C say what sound? It's soft sound. So the word is? Right behind this G. An E, 
And the E tells us what? That G is going to say a soft sound, which is J, J. So the word is age, age, your age. And did you notice second grade? All together, this word in itself is a vowel consonant E. Vowel consonant E. Look how awesome this are. We keep get to using our skills all together. Okay, next one. What do you notice? We've got a G and it's followed by the letter E, of course. So that tells us, what's our clue? G is gonna say, J, 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 the soft sound. And what else do you see? Vowel, consonant, E. So the word is huge. 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 Something is huge. Okay, last one. We've got a G. What's right behind it? We have a I is right behind it. So what's our clue? It's going to tell us what? G will say J, J, J. So let's read the word. It is I giant. Giant. Something's giant. It's huge. Those are two words that mean the same thing. Okay, second grade. So these words were great examples of both our soft sounds for C and G. We're going to keep up our awesome soft sound practice with our Super Kids workbook, of course, but you know, we got to do something before we can get there. We've got to move our body for this or that, so come on, stand up with me, and I've got a question about what kind of pirate you would be. So, are you standing? So, second grade, if you were a pirate on the open sea, which of these two animals would you choose to have a pet? A pet parrot. If so, you're going to do five lunges. So remember, that's when you're traveling, doing five lunges. Or as a pirate, would you rather have a pet monkey? If so, you're going to do five squats. So you make a choice as a pirate. A parrot or a monkey friend. What do you think? I'm going to choose a parrot, so I'm going to do five lunges. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Nice and quick. Let's sit back right down in our seats as we find our Super Kid workbook page. And that is on da, 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 page 82. So can you find page 82 in your Super Kids workbook? So Super Scholars, on this page, we see a bunch of awesome words. All of these words have C and G in it. There's a clue in every single word that's telling us that our two letters are going to say their soft sounds. And what's our clue? What three letters have to follow C and G? Remember, it's I, E, and Y. So we're looking out for I, E, and Y to tell us that C and G are going to say their soft sound. Okay. Get out whatever decoding tool you like. I said I'm going to use blue. And look up at number one. Okay. I want you to tell me what sound and letter do you think completes this word? So we've got an, oran, an orange, an orange. What do you hear? What sound? An orange. Orange, j, j. What sound is that? J. And so, what do you see right after it? An E. So that's making what letter say its soft sound? J, j. G. G is saying the soft sound. 
orange. Can you make sure you have that in? Orange. Awesome job. Okay, we've got an orange. What's this word? Pen. Oh. Pen. Oh. What sound are we missing? Pen. Let's go take our soft, confident knowledge and get to work. 